So you're going to need the Raspberry Pi's address on the network. So there's an auto mailer from your Raspberry Pi that sends that by Gmail. So here is my IP address. It's 192.168.1.17. Okay, I've got a copy of that. I can just remember that one. So what I'm going to do now is go into my iTerminal app, which is which is this one here. And I'm going to type that in at the top. So that was 192.168.1.17. For the username, I'm going to put Pi, and for the password, I'm going to put Raspberry. That's the same for every Raspberry Pi out of the box. Pi, Raspberry. Remember, there's a P in Raspberry. Raspberry. And I'm connecting. Okay, so all of this stuff here, this is inside the Raspberry Pi. Now what I need to do is make this a little bit easier to see. I'm going to activate the remote desktop. So to do that, we're going to type VNC server spacebar colon one. And that's the VNC virtual desktop server space at port one. I'm going to hit return and it's going to boot up there. You can see it's just telling me there a new X desktop has started on Pi 1, port 1. I've set the password for that earlier. Now I'm going to go into my VNC app. So I pop into VNC, I'm going to make a new session. Again, I'm going to type in the same IP address. So it's 192.168. All your home network ones will always be 192.168.something.something. Something dot something. And the school will be different, probably 1060.something.something. Dot dot something. Um, one extra step here, I'm going to put a colon and put one at the end. And just to tell it that's at port number one, you need to include that there. I'm just going to give this a name. This is just for future reference for saving stuff. I'm just going to say this is orpi1111. Great, so that's ready to go. I'm going to press connect. There's some security stuff here. You can just skip it and press connect. The password is passpi1 for this particular Raspberry Pi. And there we go. We're on. So you can see I can move around this little dot here. This is my cursor. I can control it anywhere about the screen. This is now a massive big touchpad. So I can open Minecraft or whatever I want to do. Now, if you want to um, drag something, so let's say I want to move this over, I double tap and then move somewhere. That's to drag and to right click with the mouse. It's a two finger tap and the mouse scroll, the third mouse button is a three finger tap. Okay, and that's it. And just when you want to turn it off, you're going to go into the terminal here. This is where you run all your commands. If I want to type here in the terminal, I'll need the keyboard. Now, when you press something, the keyboard doesn't appear because the keyboard is up here. So what you just do, so just shake the iPad and then just unpin that bar up the top. And now I, if I want to type something, I two finger zoom to where I want to go. and I'm just going to hit the keyboard button. See, I can just kind of just move around here. Okay, and I'll take a little bit of getting used to, but I was just going to say, when you want to turn the Raspberry Pi off, so I want to stop the Pi, I'm just going to hit sudo space halt. And that's a shutdown. Sudo stands for super user, it means you're in charge, you have all the permissions. So I'm going to hit return, and it's going to shut down now, and I'm going to get kicked off.